Quantum Break was in my top 10 most anticipated games for 2016, but did it live up to the hype? I decided to buy Quantum Break from Steam after choosing not to purchase from Windows 10 store after seeing some bad reviews with the Windows 10 store copy. Even though I started playing the game in 2016, I actually finished it in the early January 2017. Quantum Break is a third person shooter action adventure game with the main protagonist Jack Joyce played by Sean Ashmore being an enemy of his former friend Paul Serene played by Aiden Gillen who are both fighting on how to deal with the end of time. Jack's brother Will, a physicist and creator of a device called CFR Chronum Field Regulated and Beth Wilder, double agent Simon Art, helps Jack on his journey in trying to fix the fracture before the end of time. You are going back in time using the time machine to find a CFR and save your brother Will. There are some enemies who are able to manipulate time and juggernauts who are heavily armored enemies with big guns who are very difficult to take down playing on hard mode. You have to strategize and use use some different techniques and ability to take these enemies down. The game has five acts and around five parts to each act. After each act playing as Jack Joyce, you take over as Paul and just this and must be decide on which decision to make before moving to the next act. The decision you make after each act will determine how or what kind of episode to be played before the next act. There are two possible choices to make and you are able to see the consequences of each decision before selecting your own decision. The 20 minute episode will play according to your decision. What I really like about the game are the characters. I do prefer single player games or multiplayer so it's refreshing to see the developers have a good cast of characters. I also like the abilities used in the game. You have the ability to stop to time stop with fro frozen time around enemies in a bubble. Time show that block incoming gunfire. Time vision that show objects you could interact with. Time echoes that allowed you to find enemies and replay past events. Time dodge that allowed you to dash away from attacks. Time blast that puts enemies in the air and freezes them. And time rush, ability that I should have used earlier in the game if I was paying attention to the tutorials. That allows you to dash at a weak enemy and do a melee takedown. This usually was immediately as soon as you do it, a melee takedown. Some things I didn't like about the game are the glitches that maybe either restart the game or res or even restart the mission. Or sometimes I even have to restart the last checkpoint. There were two such instances when the game glitched and I had to restart from the last checkpoint after clearing out all the enemies. Um, another thing I didn't like where the enemies look very similar. Uh, I think the developers focused so much on the main characters. They didn't think on making the enemies look any different. The uh, cover system I did not like. I think they could have been... Uh, take a little bit out of Uncharted or even a Gears of War uh, playbook, use their cover system, or even make it a little bit similar. The uh, 20 minute cutscenes, um, or you could say uh, a TV show, I could have did without. I found myself twice waiting for the TV show to finish buffering while I was um, in the game so I, I could watch the show. And there were two episodes I just had to watch on YouTube because it's just too much buffering. The gunplay was by far the worst of the game. Every gun, uh, every automatic gun felt the same with no tr own true identity. Uh, there was no zoom with the sniper for some reason. I felt like every time I pulled the trigger on the, with the automatic weapons, the gun would just point straight up and I had no control over the gun. Had to burst fire with almost every automatic weapon. Also, there were no bullet holes in the character, which was kind of odd. Um, my final thoughts about the, about Quantum Break is that it was a fun experience, but not really groundbreaking. I do like the time manipulating games, and I do think the end of this game would probably mean a sequel. That being said, being able to accurately aim and shoot your enemy was frustrating, and I hope they cut the cutscenes down to around five to ten minutes if they decide to make a sequel. That is why I would give this game a seven out of ten, and say to buy if on sale.